LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks, you know, a question just kind of popped up into my head, and, uh, you know, I really started thinking about this. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to formulate this. I'm just going to formulate what I'm saying to y'all. Now, do you guys remember before, you know, Chris Cyborg, they, they actually detected a diuretic in Chris Cyborg's blood? Right. And of course, we all know the story. She was exonerated. okay, because there was a a medical use exemption for the diuretic. okay. I covered that story heavily. I was outraged at first. And people tend to forget that that I was very outraged when I thought that Cyborg actually was back on the stuff. And I gave it to Cyborg. But then, you know, when I realized that I had to come back and say, you know, um, okay, she got a medical use exemption and Cyborg completely explained that to the fans. Okay, she completely explained it. But let's go back to the time before Chris Cyborg, you know, even a diuretic before he was even mentioned. Okay, so Chris Cyborg point blank said that, you know, her doctor. Now, Chris gave a reason because, you know, Chris, they offered Chris to fight against Holly Holm or no, they offered Chris to fight against Jermaine Durandamay, who probably wouldn't have fought her anyway. So it probably more or less would have been Holly Holm because Jermaine would not have fought Chris Cyborg. But anyway, nonetheless, they offered Chris to fight, and Chris rejected the fight. She turned it down because they offered her to fight in February, but Chris's doctor, and she had a medical excuse, told her that, look, she she can't fight until March because she's got to recover from those nasty weight cuts. And if you know the story, Chris Cyborg, you know, literally, and I'm talking about physically almost killed herself twice trying to make 140. And the last 140 pound weight cut, I mean, she was in the hospital and her blood was so thick that they tried to draw out of her that they couldn't even draw blood out of Chris Cyborg's veins because she was that dehydrated from trying to make weight. So, I mean, you know, that was the story. So now Chris pulled out the fight. Now you would believe, now Chris gave you a reason. She told, she told you everything under God's hot sun, why she couldn't be at that fight. But everybody still said that, you know, Chris was afraid. They was calling her a coward. They, you know, and it's amazing. It's amazing. And I, and I already told y'all. It is, it, it, it's, it, it's amazing how Chris Cyborg, the double standard, completely is there. And I gave y'all a video, video evidence of Jermaine Durandamay, okay, and Megan Anderson both saying that there was an injury. But then we come to find out that there was no injury with Megan Anderson. I, I showed you an article, okay? I showed you a link. I put the evidence right there in front of y'all face, but some people still want to just deny oh, yeah. See, we want to criticize Jermaine Durandame. We want to criticize Chris Cyborg. But see, now when it comes to criticize Megan Anderson, oh, okay. Well, I'm just being unfair, you know? Oh, I'm being unfair, I'm doing this. But they all had the same thing. And I think Chris Cyborg went above and beyond for her fans. She explained to us why. Why she wasn't going to fight. And Chris Cyborg had a, a legitimate doctor's excuse. And even her doctor even confirmed what she was saying. Isn't that funny, man? Oh, there was an outrage. There was an outrage that Chris Cyborg couldn't take this fight in February. Outrage. But there's no outrage. And me, me and Anderson point blank said, look, <laughs> I ain't got to tell you nothing, okay? And I'm not telling you anything. But where's the outrage? Could you imagine what would happen if Chris Cyborg said, I'm not telling y'all anything? I mean, folks, really think about this. What do you think would be if Chris Cyborg just point blank said, no, I don't have to tell you anything. I'm out for my own reasons. We could see the microcosm that would happen in the sport of MMA, in the sport of women's MMA. Oh, there'd be outrage. Oh, there'd be an investigation. There'd be an inquisition. Oh, there'd be everything if it was Chris Cyborg. But, you know, again, Megan gets a pass. I played the interview, I played the interview for y'all last night, point blank. Look, <laughs> she told y'all, uh-uh, I ain't telling you a damn thing. And she ain't telling us nothing. But everybody's like, oh, it's okay, you know, yeah, Megan, yeah, she probably got stuff going on. But Chris Cyborg and Jermaine Durandam can't have nothing going on. How, how you gonna explain this? How are these fanboys gonna explain this one? How? <laughs> I mean, folks, you know, you guys always talk about being fair and and, and I'm biased. Well, look, 
this is a clear case of biasness. I don't care what you call it. Okay, I don't care what you call it. See, some of y'all, the heat on this channel is, is too much for y'all. It's too much. Because I'm going to keep calling this thing the way I see it. And I'm going to keep injecting that truth. That's how it is. See, I don't do this for the fame or celebrity. I don't do this for that. I don't do this for subscribers. I do it because it needed to be said. It needed to be said. I don't care how you slice this, how you dice this. Chris Cyborg had a medical excuse, and this before the diuretic. Oh, no. Now, when the diuretic and she got exonerated, um, I mean, we can sit and talk about how Chris Cyborg got exonerated and Courtney Casey got exonerated. But see, there's always an excuse for the Brazilian or the minority. That's always. It's always a reason why y'all can't, you know, that you just couldn't believe Cyborg. Cyborg had to give proof. Literal doctor proof. And then some of y'all was still disputing the doctor proof i mean unfreaking believable but uh -uh. nope the coach ain't now i'm not getting off their neck on this one you can you can cut it out the coach is not getting off nobody I ain't getting off nobody neck i'm staying on their neck i'm staying on their helmet on this one because this stuff need to be said man and, and, and it's it's an absolute utter ridiculousness i don't care what you say it's ridiculous we know what it is we know how the double standard applies some fighters get a pass for doing the same crap. But at least Cyborg pulled out the fight, and at least she did say, you know what? I had a doctor's excuse. That's why I couldn't fight. And she did. Her doctor, her doctor even came online and confirmed this stuff, man. Chris Cyborg even put a doctor's prescription. I mean, what the hell else do the woman have to do? What else does Chris Cyborg have to do? Unbelievable. But I tell you what, we know what Megan don't have to do. Megan ain't got to give us no proof. She ain't got to tell y'all nothing. Coach, you, you trolling. You trolling. I'm not. No. I'm reporting the information like I see it. That's how that is. I'm doing what I do when I do when I do. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best ones in my platform on YouTube to get the real. No tap dancing. No buck dancing. I'm giving you the real, and I'm giving it to you raw. I'm done.